Hi. Oh, it's way too dark in here. Give me a sec. Much better. Let's try that again. Hi. This is a 3D printed lamp that I made from recycled materials. And in this video, we're going to try and sell it. The story behind this lamp begins all the way back in July 2023. But we're not going that far back. Our story begins today, the 29th of February, with one simple goal. Sell one lamp, just one sale, and I'm happy. Will I succeed? We're about to find out. My first idea is simple. Create a viral video featuring my lamp and direct traffic to my website. I don't have much hope for this method, but it's 100% free, so why not try it? The way I will do this is I will take a trendy format that is already proven to be able to go viral, and then I will copy it. For example, we have this trendy format where you first show a prototype that is most often just fake, and then you show the actual product. So I'm gonna make a video like that and we'll see how it goes. The next viral video idea is also based on a trendy format. The format is simple. We take a bunch of images and we compile them into a compilation and we make a slideshow. This video format is nice because I already have a bunch of images from the process, so it's quite easy to just compile them into one long slideshow. I will also try and make two videos that isn't based on any of these trendy formats. I want to make something just for me, something that I like because I do enjoy filming myself and filming this lamp. So I will probably just film myself showing off the lamp with some nice music, some nice b-roll, you know, just some nice smooth eye candy. Now that we have all the videos, all we need to do is upload them and we'll check back later and we'll see how it goes. While we wait, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about this lamp. First, let's talk about the price. I've decided to start selling this lamp for 200 euros. And yes, I know that's very, very expensive for a simple table lamp, but I have looked at other high-end 3D printed table lamps and they all seem to be selling around 200 euros. So I thought this was a great starting point. I can always lower this price if I don't get any sale. The cost for making this lamp is also very high. Producing this lamp cost me about 100 euros. And that is mostly because I'm using a lot of premium components. We have recycled filament, we have a textile cable, and we have a dimmer. Just this dimmer alone costs me about 36 euros. I could of course source cheaper components, but if I want a high quality lamp, well, I have to pay up. You get the quality that you pay for. I'm going to show you a different prototype. One second. So I have an older prototype here. Uh, don't mind the tape, this is unfinished work. Here I have a dimmer from Amazon that cost me like seven euros. So it's much, much cheaper but I will show you what happens. So when I turn this on, nothing happens. Forgot the lamp. So when I turn on this dimmer, flickering, that is uh, obviously in uh, cheaper components, you'll have more flickering. This was actually not what happened last time I tried this one. Uh, last time I tried it, it didn't turn on immediately, you had to twist it all the way up. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, if you pay less, you're gonna get less quality. Also, this dimmer has two, like, sensitivity knobs, which you could turn, so you can... I mean, it's just much better. I've never, ever had any flickering with this dimmer but I had a lot of flickering with this. And as you can see, it's much more sensitive. So the dimmer function is just better than this one. Now, these lamps actually do take quite a long time to produce as well. Sure, the 3D printers does most of the work, but somebody has to assemble everything. The assemble process is quite simple, but as I said, it takes a long time. We have three major pieces. 
the base of the lamp, a lid and the lamp shade. Then we have two 3D printed screws and a small part that we will use for cable relief. These are all the printed items that we need, but we also need a few items that you can't 3D print. Two nylon cable ties, a dimmer, a lamp holder, a plug and a textile cable. The actual slicing of the cables and connecting everything isn't that complicated, but it's very tedious. These parts don't have a lot of space in them. It's a lot of very tiny work and you'll have to be very patient, which I'm not. The assembly process takes a long time for me, which is another reason why the lamp is so expensive. My time is valuable. I have also designed this manual. Uh, the manual is uh, quite boring because you have a lot of these warnings and everything. This is also what's required to actually sell a lamp. A lot of symbols, of course, assembly instructions. But in the back, we have my concept behind this lamp. Rethink production, recycle materials, and relight hope. And what do I mean by this? Well, if we start with the first one, rethink production, so production have mostly been confined to these specialized factories that uses subtractive manufacturing. 3D printing, on the other hand, uses additive manufacturing and it uses far less energy and produce fewer emissions. So overall, 3D printing is just more eco-friendly and more sustainable than traditional production. When I say additive manufacturing, I mean that we add material. So, for example, this lamp, there is basically no filament being wasted. I'm actually going to show you the waste. As you can see, there's not a lot of waste while producing one of these lamps. The waste is mostly from cutting the cable. As you can see, this is from the textile cable. I do have a little bit of support uh, in the base of the lamp in one place. This is basically all the filament that gets wasted while making one lamp. The lamp shade is done completely without support, so there is zero waste there. Of course, there's always going to be some waste, whatever you produce, but I think I managed to keep the waste a minimum. Another very good thing about 3D printers is that you can set them up anywhere in the world. This I believe decentralize their production. I think this is good for smaller communities as well, especially more rural areas, because they become more resilient and more self-sufficient. Also, a more localized production means less shipping. I want the world to think about how we produce things and where we produce things. And basically rethink production. The next part of the model is recycled materials and I'm going to show you. This is the filament that I've used for this lamp. It comes from Form Futura and Reflow. And this filament has already had a life before it became my lamp. On top of this, the filament is PLA, which is derived from renewable plant starch. So it's already a pretty good material to use. Uh, it's much better than many other materials. And with these two things, uh, rethinking production and recycling materials, my goal is to relight hope. And that's also the name of this lamp, relight. And I just wanted to relight a little bit of the hope for our planet and relight hope for the future, basically. And that is the concept behind this lamp. Now, I know that not everything is perfect. I know that PLA is not some kind of magic material that has a zero carbon footprint. But I think overall, what I've tried to do is making and producing a lamp in good conscience. I can sell this lamp with good conscience because I tried my best to be as sustainable as possible. Anyway, thank you for listening to me rambling about this lamp. Now it's time to skip four days into the future and look at those videos that we uploaded earlier. Welcome back. It's the 5th of March today, 
so five days into the future, and the videos had varying success. Unfortunately, I still don't have a single sale. So I uploaded a bunch of videos on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. All videos were short format and vertical. Unfortunately, no video went viral, but some did better than others. My most viewed video was the prototype versus product video on YouTube, which got 4,800 views. This video was also one of the best performers on the other platforms. So this trendy format actually works. On all the videos combined, I got around 200 likes and 10,000 views. So there is a lot of potential buyers, but I'm probably not reaching the right audience. I'm just putting these videos out there in the void and anyone can watch them. And not everyone had the budget for one of these lamps and not everybody is looking for a new table lamp. There also seemed to be some confusion from my audience. Some people seemed to think that I didn't make this lamp. I got comments like this. You sure you just didn't go online and just buy a random lamp from a shiny store? Or this one. Still dropshipping in 2024. And I can understand this because the video format that I used is very popular amongst dropshippers. If you don't know what dropshipping is, it's when you source a product like a lamp from a country and you send it directly to the customer. So you never actually touch the product. The product is usually in low quality and it's usually from Asia or a developing country. So you can get a cheap price and there is no way to do any quality assurance. So for example, if you buy a lamp from a dropshipper, it might be a fire hazard. And that's generally why people don't like dropshippers because their products are usually of bad quality. There's no way I could achieve this quality by dropshipping it. But I guess I didn't convey that message enough. I also did receive some hate comments as well, which is always sad to see. But this might be related to them thinking that the product is dropshipped. Let's see here. So OG Gumball said, stupid useless product that brings nothing new to the table. Table? Was that a pun? Just another bad bedside lamp. And the Schloblers chimed in and said, Preach it, brother. Yeah, you can't take it too personally. These might be kids or very immature adults. I responded, maybe it's nothing new, but I worked hard on this and I'm proud of what I designed. I use one myself in my bedroom window and it brings me joy every day I see it. And that is not useless. I also did get a bunch of great comments, so thank you for that. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how the videos turned out. But the issue still remains, we have no sale. The goal of this video is to sell one lamp. So what am I gonna do? Well, I could do targeted ads. Targeted ads are great because I can get this lamp in front of the right people. Let's say I pay for ads on Pinterest, which is a classic interior design site, then I can target, let's say, women from the ages 25 to 50 that has disposable income and that are interested in interior design. That's a much better audience than these videos. The videos that I uploaded may have reached Billy, 14 years old, that has 50 bucks to his name and he's mostly interested in Minecraft. I mean, not really the type of person that would buy an expensive table lamp. But as you know, ads cost money and I'm not made of money. So I'm gonna keep trying with my strategy. I'm also gonna lower the price of the lamp, 30%, so down to 140 euros. And then I'm just gonna keep uploading videos. At least now I know that I have to convey that I'm the producer of the lamp. I really want the audience to know that I am the person who designed, printed and assembled this lamp. And hopefully we can get a sale this way without spending a single dime on ads. So let's keep trying. We did it! Last night I got one order for a real light table lamp and I couldn't be more proud. I have pushed out as many posts as I can on social media and I've really worked hard with this project. So this feels very, very good. Now it's time to pack this bad boy up and send it off. Unfortunately, if you're watching this video right now and you want to buy one of these lamps, 
you can't. I am not going to produce any more copies for a while. And I have my reasons. So currently I only have one working printer and I want to use that printer to make more designs and more prototypes. I don't want to use that printer to produce lamps that I have to assemble. If interest suddenly increases a lot, I might put it out for sale again and I might make a few more copies, but right now the lamp is sold out. However, all hope is not lost. If you want to try and print this lamp and sell it, you can get a commercial license on my Patreon for $10. You will also get access to an ever-growing catalog of all my digital files, including editable Photoshop files for the manual, so that you can make your own branding. You will also get a lifetime Discord access, so if you have any questions or issues printing this lamp, you can just come in there and ask me anything. Thank you for watching this video, take care and I'll see you soon.